hey all uh, in this class we'll be discussing about the tax procedure setting basically this tax procedure uh, will going to use whenever we'll be doing the invoice receipt so before going to the invoice receipt we'll just check how we'll going to do the tax procedure setting for our company code later on we can use the tax procedure uh, in the later stages while creating the invoice receipt so uh, basically for uh, creation of the tax procedure no <clears throat> we have to go through four different steps basically this is a, a fi consultants job but uh, when we want to do the invoice receipt as of now in our class we don't have any fi consultants and all so we will going to create on our own okay not an issue it is very simple uh, thing we can just move into the recipe screen and we can do it over here see uh, for tax procedure uh, if you want i'll just go through the um, uh, what is that uh, um, tree also like what are the different uh, path we will going to take or else we can i'll just give you the direct t code also okay so first step is to so first thing we we have to create the uh, procedure over here okay so uh, how we will going to uh, do the tax okay for that we need to create the procedure so i'll just double click on the procedure here so here we have the different types of tax okay and different tax for the different company it might be uh, having so b tax is there for tax company bipl some b uh, mitc is there that is tax procedure for micco like that so many different things are there actually this tax do you know this is the standard one which is given by, uh, for the germany that is ideas tax okay so what we will do we will just copy this okay just copy this tax code and you can create on your own we will just take lt01 only our tax procedure is lt01 sales tax for lt01 we can give means what is our company code that is lt01 so we will be using this uh, tax procedure lt01 for this, uh, this particular company code okay i'll just click enter see it is asking for uh, whether we need to copy everything yes you just say copy all okay number of dependent entries copied are nine so just say okay here and just select this go to the control data here you can see so many different things okay which are involved inside it so as we have just copied a standard one so whatever there it, within the standard we have copied everything okay so all these things you can able to uh, change and all but the thing is that as of now as it is a mm consultant work we are not going to change anything we will just proceed with the whatever we are copying it okay from the standard one so lt01 is the uh, uh, tax procedure what i have created okay i will just go back and i will just save this data okay lt01 projects i am saving this data now uh, this is the first thing okay so to go to this particular uh, step now we can take the uh, what is that uh, uh, like uh, path also okay path is not necessary we will just directly create the tax procedure and we will going to move to the invoice receipt okay next thing what we will do is second step we will go to the OBBG okay OBBG is the MDT code where uh, we have the country and in front of the country we need to assign our tax okay so because we have used okay in our company code or else in our plan we have used the country so for this country what is the tax code like that okay i'll just go to the portion and uh, go to the in india and we have used right so for india it is assigned a b tax what i'll do i'll just remove this b tax and i'll going to do lt01 you know obbg so this is uh, for india now we'll going to use the lt01 tax code okay i'll just save this thing okay just save this data I have done the uh, for India we have given the LT01 tax code just go back next uh, the third step is uh, what we will going to is we will go to the FTXP what is this FTXP we, we have to give our country initially okay so after that we will just move into the uh, maintain tax code initial screen okay this is the maintaining up of the tax code so whatever the tax we will going to create now we, it will go into uh, come for our company so uh, i'll just take lt as a tax code because lt01 for that we'll going to take lt as a tax code that is lt01 tax code so tax code i have to provide here just click enter or else if you have a 
uh, one, a standard one and just put that and you can say copy over here okay that is also possible but as of now what i'll do i'll just create my own so tax code is lp now and just click enter see it is asking for the tax code description this is lp01 tax code i'll just provide like this okay this is lp01 tax code and what is this tax type okay once you go here i am just creating the input tax i am not going to create the output tax okay so just our uh, input tax you just provide it over here and uh, uh, what is that uh, here uh, just create this particular tax code and uh, you will going to come to this particular screen you have the output tax and the input tax okay so output tax is mws and input tax is vst because whatever the procedure we have taken now lt01 for this procedure these are the different nine items which were available earlier only so for this we have to give the different taxes okay we are not maintaining all these different taxes we are just concentrating on the output as well as input output as of now it is zero tax only we are not considering it and input also is going to maintain a zero tax only if you want to maintain like five percent and all you can maintain it I, as of now we will just go with the zero tax only okay so now we have created our tax code as lp so the tax code lp was created uh, the fi uh, final step is we will going to go to the obcl okay just go to the obcl here now uh, for our company code okay we need to assign our input as well as output tax i'll just go to my company code that is lt01 okay so this lt01 it is having a p0 and a0 uh, like that it is uh, showing here so but what is our input tax that is lp and uh, output tax nothing is there just remove these things okay you can uh, leave it blank that is not a problem i'll just save this data so i have uh, created all the different tax codes now now you can use this uh, lp as a tax code for your invoice receipt so this is how we will going to create the uh, tax codes in the uh, what is that uh, sap system thank you